everyone. Welcome back to Vicki's Country Home. Today we're going to get out of the kitchen and this is a challenge that I am going to start today and I am going to name two people today and they are going to do the same thing as me. The challenge is get out of your kitchen and cook outside. You can use whatever method you want. You can use a sun oven, a grill, a smoker, um, Dutch ovens, campfire, whatever you want. What I want you to do is to tell me why you're getting out of your kitchen, what you're going to use and how you're going to cook it, and then make a recipe. So let's get started. Well, I decided today I'm going to cook in my rocket stove. We have had wind and all kinds of weather and so with our fire danger not a good idea to be using a lot of fire outside. So I think I have a way around that. I've built this little surround out of cinder blocks and I've got my rocket stove down on the bottom. And the way they work is actually kind of protected from the wind anyway. So between that and I will have my Dutch oven sitting on top of it, I think we're going to be fine. But we also have safety. I've got my fire extinguisher and a hose ready to go next to me. So we're going to make this work. So today I'm making Greek braised chicken and I'm going to do that in that Dutch oven and it's all going to be done out here. This is a new recipe to me and what I'm trying to show is that you can adapt almost any recipe to be cooked outside depending on what you're doing whether it's the sun oven whether it's a Dutch oven with charcoal a grill in this case the rocket stove we're gonna adapt that recipe to make it work on the rocket stove now this recipe is from the Wanderlust kitchen and it's Greek braised chicken thighs and I really think it's going to be good. My dogs want out. But it's, it's going to be really nice with lemon and Greek oregano out of my garden. It's going to have Kalamata olives and some feta cheese. So let's get started cooking. Pushed. So what we're going to do, a rocket stove uses biomass, which is twigs and sticks and whatever. So what I'm going to do today, it says you can start it with twigs, you can use cotton balls with petroleum jelly or alcohol, but I'm going to use some of this fat wood that we buy, and it's all natural. So that's what I'm going to put in there to get the fire started. And you just load it in here. Actually, I think I'm going to load those up top. And then we're going to light this. Alright, this is just going to take a couple minutes and then we'll be ready to start cooking. It's going to smoke a little bit because of the fat wood. Because fat wood is pine wood that the resin has totally got impregnated into it. But it lights really well. So I'm going to let this get hot, then I'm going to load some of these larger twigs into it, and I'll bring you back. Yeah. I've got my stove hot. I'm going to start loading some larger twigs into it, and then we're going to get this chicken in here starting to cook. You want to feed the larger pieces so that they just stick out the front just a little bit like that. But you want the little door down. 
Now I'm going to put some olive oil in. And we're going to start cooking this chicken. And I've got chicken thighs and I've salted and peppered after I patted them dry. And I'm going to put them skin side down. And then we're going to let these cook for about three, four minutes on each side and then turn them and do the same. And I'm only going to do half at a time, so I'll bring you back in a little bit. Time to pull the chicken out. And we're not trying to get this totally, the chicken totally cooked yet. That will be later. Now I'm going to add a sliced yellow onion. We're going to cook that about six to eight minutes. have been cooking oh about that six to eight minutes I'm not timing it but they're just getting translucent they smell great and just slightly browning on the edges now I've got eight cloves of garlic I probably did about ten and two tablespoons of my fresh Greek oregano chopped up we're gonna add that Oh, this smells so good. 
Now we're going to add about half a cup of white wine. I'm not measuring, but that's probably at least half a cup. And you want to scrape the bottom of the pan and get that bond off, get all of the like, good bits off the bottom. Put those out of the way. Now I'm going to add this chicken back in here on top. And I'm going to pour about half of a fresh squeezed lemon over the top. And I include the zest because you know what? That's so much flavor, I hate to waste it. So now I'm going to cover this and I'm going to let it braise for about 30 to 40 minutes. So I'll bring you back when it's all ready to pull out. This has been cooking about 40 minutes and it is ready. The chicken thighs are completely cooked through. So now I'm going to take this inside and finish it up and plate it. So let, I'll show you inside. Well, here it is. Yeah. Now, what I've got to do is take all the chicken pieces out. And I'm just going to put them on a dish to sit while I finish this up. Now I've got the onion and garlic and wine and lemon juice mixture. So to that, I'm going to add about half a cup of Kalamata olives. And about half a cup a feta cheese. I'm just going to stir that up. Set this aside for a moment. And then we're going to put all of this yummy goodness on the platter. Now we're going to put those chicken thighs on top. all that good juice on top of it. Put a little bit more feta cheese on top. And then we'll put a little bit of oregano for a garnish. And there we go. Greek braised chicken thighs. They smell so good. So I'll bring you back in a minute and tell you more about the challenge. 
Well, that was an amazing dinner. That Greek braised chicken thighs came out so good in a nice salad. It was wonderful. So, on to the challenge. So, I am going to challenge two people. And they need to make a video saying why they're cooking outside. Is it so you don't heat your kitchen up? Is it because of disaster preparedness, SHTF, whatever you, whatever you want, whatever you are preparing for the reason you're working and making your meal outside. And then I want you to show us how you're going to cook, whether it's on a grill, whether barbecue, smoker, rocket stove, sun oven, Dutch oven, whatever it is. Show it to us and explain why you chose that. And then make a recipe. And I can't wait to see what you're doing. And then you need to choose two people and challenge them. So this is this is really fun. I had fun using my rocket stove today. It's not something I'd normally do, so it was out of the ordinary. It challenged me. So I am going to challenge Lori at Whippoorwill Holler and Jennifer at Haywire, Haywire Homestead. So, Lori and Jennifer, consider yourselves challenged. So, thank you for watching. This was really fun. And if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, and be sure and click on all because otherwise we don't know when YouTube will notify you. And again, thank you for watching, and we'll talk again soon.